information to human workers. The time is midnight. It is today the last day of the fifth month since evacuation into underground shelter city took place. End of information. Good heavens! Oh, I'm sorry. I seem to have pressed the wrong button. I thought I was switching the lights off. That's quite all right, don't worry. Happens a lot lately. I'm startled at these habits. These buttons seem to jump about like tidy little rabbits. Rabbits? There's so little time these days. So little time, if any. It's getting late. So late, late, late. Alice is rabbit. Time depressing, time depressing, I was saying while I'm dressing. And we've got to get away. How depressing, I dare say. Still, I've enjoyed our little chat, said the cheeky little beetle to the rat, and that's all there is to that, so good night. Good night, rabbit. I say, what's that noise? Was it you making that noise? How peculiar. What a weird lot of junk you've got there. I say, can you play that piano? I'm a scientist. I uh, use it for experiments. Oh, you do, do you? How intriguing. What kind of experiments? You know that any artistic activity is strictly forbidden. I am the man in charge of the headphones treatment. Oh, yes. I've heard of you recently, Professor. You've expressed the desire to have a new commitment. Nothing much to do with headphones treatment. I need to do some research. Yet you know how urgent our situation is, don't you? How pressed we are for time. There's no time for research of any idle kind. I see. Who are you, sir? I am the manager of the pantomime in which you are engaged. Pantomime? That's a nice way of putting it. You may call me God, simply. God? Yes, of course. G-O-D, God. I say, I say, that's a chance, all right? You know my name is Adam. Adam? How sweet. Yes, well, you must be one of the gentlemen at the top. I'm the top of the tops, dear Adam. Good heavens. Yes? Well, your highness. Almighty! Your almightiness. You sure have pressed lots of buttons lately. We had to. The situation had become quite unconceivable. Don't you know what the world had come to? Yes, by heart, a chaotic situation. The overpopulation. The political and social stagnation. All those people, every second, hop, a new multiplication. That's over now, no time for fornication. The consumer society, that's what the blasted politicians called it. Rubbish. Merely a question of having to have fed the pigs, that's all. Pigs? They're extinct. You're alive, though, aren't you? I'm alive, oh my God, I'm grateful. Otherwise, just think how dreadful. Well, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. Now, the matter of the chatter since you raised it from the gutter is that you should be busy working on that treatment that you've devised. By law, it was hoped that you would see that the headphones be applied on a daily, sanely basis for the human workers to abide. For the good of social order, I have done so. Never lied. Never lied. Never tried. Never tried. Is it true? Very true. We could tell. You could tell. We could smell. You could smell. We've got ways. You got ways. These days, you know. You could ways, you could raise in a gaze to a maze. You could treats, you could leaks, you could creaks, you could cheats, you got. Will you stop that ticking joke? Who do you think you are? What's all that chatter? Have you gone weird, man? Profession. Scientist. Application. Headphones treatment. Explain yourself. You press your headphones tightly against your ears and cast your mind off thoughts. You relax your muscles and stay put. You just let those healing decibels gently bathe your nervous system. And you listen. You just listen. You close your eyes and concentrate. And we we'll extirpate any signs of violence, aggravation, hypertension, hyperemotion, hypersensation, hyperelation. Elation? What's that got to do with it? Are you a dribbler, a sucker, a happiness freak, a sissy? What kind of a scientist are you, Adam?
Well, I suppose I am a kind of a wizard who turns people into frogs. Frogs! Oh, oh. Sheer sorcery. The few remaining human have become emotionally insipid. No need for amusements of any kind. No demanding curiosities. No passion. No wondering with visual or lyrical ambiguities. I should think not. No desire to read poetry or draw or sing our sagas to the chords of a lyre. How twee. There's only one thing to listen to. The sounds of the clinically disinfected headphones. Those magic sound waves. Art. The opium of the people. Perish the thought. Philosophy, a kind of tongue masturbation. Culture, a most uncalled for burden. No time for useless, impractical things. No time at all, damn it. It's getting late, late, late. What's that bloody ticking again? Just a reminder of time, you see, sir. You must always address me as God. You see, God, I have been carefully selected and spared the Holocaust by you gentlemen so dear. The Confederated Armies of the Northern Hemisphere. So that I would be efficient in the preparations for the exodus to other worlds. Correct. Efficient and hasty. Well, I can foresee some impediment for the exodus preparations. What do you mean? Speak up, man. According to a theory of mine, the workers are bound to develop a psychotrauma which will seriously affect their efficiency. That's ludicrous! The few remaining human might be numb emotionally, but they would still retain an appetite for mysticism, a nostalgia of God. The only mysticism professed in this icy bar is that which inspired by us people in power. We who have fought and saintly, we who therefore are saintly, having saved the world from chaos. We who therefore are saintly, What's that? saved the world from chaos. What's that? God! You know, you've got an extraordinary quality of voice, General. Voice? Well... The voice of a saint, the voice of God himself. That's not surprising. Conviction, sir. Your voice has conviction. Yes, of course, conviction. It's also so manly, expressive, amusing. Do you really think so? That's what the headphones should play over and over and over, so that all at once would hear it. Your voice. My voice? A mystical symphony featuring the voice of God. A never-ending recording, the Alpha becomes the Omega. Mystical symphony. For he said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. The last? What's all that shit? Prophecy, sacred scripture, call it what you like. Well, I would rather like to call it shit. There's a danger. There's a big danger. Believe me, sir, I can tell. The headphones treatment is going to fail. The workers are not going to be able to bear it. I need your help to develop my project. Suppose I agree. What would I have to do? Do you know any songs? Do you suppose a man of my stature would be at all interested in gathering a repertoire of songs? Well, any children's ditty, any song at all. The ones I think are witty come from the music hall. Music hall? From England's golden age? Well, they would just be perfect in any set or key. Now, let me see. Can you sing... Clarice May, an exquisite, sublime artist, one of the queens of the halls. Now, let me show you what she was like. She was a sweet little, neat little nurse, and he was her patient with quite a long purse, and the most patient patient was he. She nursed him daily, for he wasn't well, though what really ailed him he couldn't quite tell, and for that matter neither could she. Still he liked her nursing, and she liked his gold. And here is the sequel as I've heard it told. Nursey, nursey, 
just a little fuzzy in a fuzzy bearing way. Nasty, nasty, persevered with Percy till at last, so I've heard say. Percy, Percy, fell in love with Nursey, it's a year since they were wed and now nursey doesn't nurse a little percy percy nurses little nurse instead i wish i was percy he seemed to grow neither better nor worse She'd get quite anxious, for poor little Nurse Percy's ailment could not understand. His pulse was quite normal, but curious to tell. He always complained that he didn't feel well, and this nurse he kept hold of his hand. She called in the doctor, who said with a wink, It's his heart that is wrong, miss. He lost it, I think. Oh, nurse. Nursey, who nursed a little Percy in a Percy beating away. Nursey, Nursey, persevered with Percy till at last, so I've had to say. Have a banana. Percy, Percy, married little Nursey, it's a year since they were away. Another little Percy that she nurses every night in stay. Wow, wow. Now, how about Antonio? Hang on, let's hear that back. Yes, let's hear it. That was a superb rendering, Miss uh, May. Thank you. Sounded all right to me. But that's not me. It's monstrous and hideous. You've made a grotesquery of my song. You've ruined it. Sir, so this is a necessary thing to do, you see. I have been experimenting with my recording devices, so I... Do you mean it's all going to be like that? Oh, no. I have been devising about 275 different voicing transformations. 200 what? Now you play that back immediately the way I really sound. Do you hear me? Sorry, God. This is all I have. Oh, no! I was enjoying myself. I was having a good time. I haven't enjoyed myself for so long. Oh, but I'd like you to enjoy it, sir, no matter what I do. Now, let me see. Shall we do some more? The song is perfect, sir. So divine, gentle, cute. Perfect feeling for the style. Brilliant, I'd say. Do I really sound cute? Believe me, oh my God, sir, you are a true artist, sir. Well, that's for you to keep in utmost secrecy, do you hear me? Yes, sir. I am the greatest performer, the greatest artist. This should remain a secret activity between you and I alone. You've got nothing to worry about. 
Once we are away, billions of light years away, safe in another world, you and I will hit the heights. We'll have to. I want you to play for me. We will amaze the universe. I want to be a great star, like once there were great stars. Now play for me again, will you? Play the next number. Sure. Uh, just a minute, sir. Will you stop calling me, sir? God, isn't this exciting? Just a minute, as I, um, 32.5 and a half. I'm ready. I'm gone. No, I think I'll come back. Does anybody want to feed me? Does anybody know if there's a glass of beer that needs a home? I'll give it them if they like. Have we finished? I'm just talking now, just to waste time while this record's going through, because I've got no tells to say at all. Is that right? Champion. Champion. Yes. Yes. Bravo, Biz Encore. <laughs> things that are in the sea, such as fish, fish. I've got Sam Isaacs. He's written me a very nice fish chorus. I've only had the words a month and I nearly know the words myself. It goes like this. She says seashells on the seashore. The shell she says are seashells, I'm sure. For if she says seashells on the Too tricky, too tricky. I like it, you know. I think it's a very excellent number and I like it. I see. And who are you, sir? I'm the manager of the pantomime which you are engaged. I've taken very great fancy to that song and I insist on you singing it in the pantomime. As I said before, I like it. I should think you're very fond of anything you like. Yes, well, I've taken a very great fuss with that song, and I'd rather think I know it myself already. Would you like to try, sir? Well, I'll have a try. What's the first line of it again? The what, sir? The first line of it again. I don't know. I've forgotten it. I have it. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. For... Be careful. Yeah. Be careful. Now, you need company with your voice. Would you like to try to harmonize with mine? Well, I'll have a try. Then off we go. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. For if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Bravo! 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 That was very good, sir. Very good, sir. You were very good, sir. Thank you. You were not too bad yourself. What? Now look here, you jerk. I hope you realize that being my ally, or rather my slave, your fate in this newly designed world of mine shall be sealed, or it will be your grave. Yes, God. So long as you Stick to your kind. You may trust me. I'll be your bond elf. Now play that back. 
It didn't sound very much in tune, that last bit. Either one of us, I don't know. Yes, sure. Well, on second thoughts, forget it. It's sure to sound all messed up anyway. What? Here it comes. This is just an embryo for my experiments. But let's hear your kind of stuff, shall we? Oh, really? You mean you're not tired of those silly old songs? Me? Never. I cherish every moment, every movement. Like this one? Yes. How about this one? Yes. Do you like that? I need some air. Well, hit it! Up to the west end, right in the dust end, it's straight from the country, can you smooth it round? Fathers and curates, the kittens endure it. That's why the lady is residing in town. Twelve months ago, her mother said, There are some disturbances in the workshop of the spaceship. The workers are reported to behave in what is estimated by the chief computers as, quote, a distressed and exasperated behavior, unquote. The work has been interrupted for some hours now. The work has been interrupted? Oh, the Shelter City Military Police report. At 1937 hours of today, a human, George West, specialized second controller in the spaceship's second factory, aged 38 years, married with two sons, has murdered the three members of his family and then proceeded to kill himself, unquote. End of emergency call, Chief of Control Department here. The work has been interrupted. Has everybody gone mad? I'm getting so tired of this comedy song that I'd like to sing something divine. And I'm sure that I'll certainly shine as a star in the opera line. They've gone mad! I'd love to sing Wagner, Mozart and Puccino. The music is really tip-top. So I'm changing my name from God to Godini. Professor! To see if I can't get a chance. I want to sing in opera. I've got that kind of voice. I want to sing in opera if I could have the choice. Signor Caruso told me I ought to do something. That's why I want to sing an opera, sing an opera, 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 hoorah! You know, you should have sang an opera. Haven't these men been having the headphones treatment? Like Holy Communion to a faithful congregation. Then how do you account for all this violence and subversion? Shouldn't their feelings have gone numb? You know, you ought to have sang an opera. A tragic opera a la Wagner with musical undertones. Shouldn't these fucking decibels of yours affect their fucking nervous system? Yes, a music hall version of Gotterdammerung, the twilight of the gods. Violence! They're committing violence unto themselves. Your treatment has failed miserably. 
all that I thought we were to submerge into the magical days of the music halls. Those sublime, glorious performers who used to entertain the Victorian splendors of good old Imperial England. You've heard the report. The men are cracking up. Your headphones cure is failing. The matter is extremely serious, you realize. The matter is extremely serious. Now what's really the matter with the mind and the matter? Bloody human. Yes, well they still got some blood left, all right. I'll tell you what we shall do. We shall simply make a report. Then we shall announce a forthcoming date for the departure of the spacecraft. That will give them hope. You mean lying to them by the date of Exodus? It will all be for the sake of their sanity and, of course, for the cause. But eventually, when the announced date finally comes, what then? What then? Well, the workers are bound to react outraged. They'll realize the lie. What lie? If they think their work is finished and then realize it's not. But it will be finished, dear Adam. Their work will be finished by then. I don't understand. The vessel won't be finished yet. The vessel won't, but the workers would. You see, all they would have to do is create sub-workers. Robots! Androids. They would finish the vessel. And my symphony? Who is going to hear it? Your symphony? <laughs> Play it to the androids so they won't have nostalgia of God. Play to the androids? Or you could otherwise play it at the funeral of the humans. <laughs> I couldn't give a damn about your wretched symphony, dear boy. All I care about is my exodus to the stars. I see. I suppose you're leaving on your own, then. Of course I am. I shall arrange a little, uh, shall we say, complot. I get it. And get rid of your colleagues. Easily done. I've done it all before. And uh, what about me, General? You. Oh, you. Well, if you carry on playing for me, I will have you promoted as Minister of Music. And you can teach the androids how to play instruments. That's it. So I could have a band. What a wonderful idea. Why didn't I think of it before? Or two bands, even. One to accompany me forever in the new world. And the other? The other would stay behind and play all my favorite tunes as I sail away into the heavens. What a big do. Just think of that day when we shall sail away. Just think of it. The crowds as they hail and cheer us farewell. Poor old android swords. That day, I will lift my arms in elation and the world shall hear my voice for the first time. Yes, and what a shock they will have. My heartbreaking and utterly tear-jerking voice, bidding farewell to the poor sods left behind. Imagine the tears running down their faces as my voice lingers in their hearts forever, while I and a privileged few sail away towards a new world, which I'll dominate. <laughs> I'll be kind to them, magnanimous and heroic. Will you promise to write? Imposing.
last handshake over the last adieu, the vessel goes speeding away. You gaze at the friends you are leaving behind, then try to be cheerful and say, Give my regards to Nesta Square, dear Piccadilly. Those 